Okay, so I have a new piercing story. Well, it's not technically a piercing because I didn't get like any new holes. What I just did was I got my earlobe stretched. Something I never thought I would do. Let me tell you how this came about. About two years ago, at for Lock Appreciation Day, I won these earrings in a contest. And they wouldn't fit. So originally what I was going to do is I was going to try to like sand it down so I could get it to fit. Because I was like, I don't understand why it won't fit. And I never got around to doing that. And then recently it dawned on me that I could just get my earlobe stretched and then it would fit. And so I was like, I should look into getting this done. Because it doesn't seem, you know, too horrible. So I watched a video on YouTube of Miss Stacy and she was doing it at home. So I thought I'd go into Igma. That's where I got my helix done. And if you're in the San Diego area, I recommend you go there. They're pretty awesome. And I was like, I'll ask some questions, kind of just see if it's something I want to do at home or if I'm even interested in it, you know, at all. So I um, kind of asked about it a little bit to try to see how, um, how many gauges up I'd have to go in order to be able to fit these. And then he was like, maybe like a couple. And then he told me that it doesn't cost to actually get it done. You just pay for the glass that they use, the glass earrings that they use. And so I was like, oh, they can do that. So it was just $30 to, um, for the glass that I got put in there. And so all he did was he put in a taper pin in my ear, and it's not sharp or anything. And it just goes, He um, once he got, was going towards the part where... Um, for the size for mine, for, for what mine were going to be. Then he told me to take a deep breath in and then out. And then he put the jewelry in and after that. So it was just like a burning sensation, but I mean, not too bad. And that was it. Um, it's nothing that needs to be healed, so I don't have to do any kind of soaks for it or anything, even though I'm still soaking this, so the you know, they'll get soaked by that. And then also he said that it went in pretty tight. So he suggested that I do go ahead and do the soaks on them too. And that's it. I keep these in for four to six weeks so it can, you know, be nice and stretched. And then I can get to put these in. And I'm thinking, I don't know. I think I want to stretch them anymore. I think I want to keep it at this, but I don't know. I didn't really think I was going to ever get them stretched, so hey, no telling. But I know I don't want to go like really, really big or anything like that. I still want to have the option to be able to wear like the regular earrings, so I don't want to go too big or anything. So I'm just going to chill at this. And that's it. And then I have some other piercings that once I get the jewelry for them, then I'm going to get done also. So yeah, I'm getting big, bad, and bold with all these holes. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.